Today we will see an another important topic that comes under midwifery and obstetrical nursing that is fetal circulation. Fetal circulation is entirely different from adult circulation. So fetal circulation initiated uh, 16th week after fertilization and the heartbeat of the uh, fetus will take place within 21 days after fertilization and more of the oxygenated blood is carried from the mother to the fetus through umbilical cord from placenta. So before going to the fetal circulation, we will see what are the components that comes under fetal circulation. Five components are there. First you can remember one is umbilical vein. Umbilical vein that uh, start from the placenta and reaches to the fetus, it carries the oxygenated blood. Then second one is ductus venosus. There is a connection that plays between the umbilical vein and the inferior vena cava and bifurcated to the portal vein. That is ductus venosus. Then third one is foramina ovale. There is a shunt that is formed between the right atrium and the left atrium. Here mixing of oxygenated blood will take place. Then fourth one is ductus arteriosus, artery, two artery connection that is pulmonary artery and descending iota. Here also mixing of blood will take place. Then last, last one is umbilical arteries that is arised from the abdominal iota uh, that divided into the internal iliac arteries then form as two umbilical arteries. This umbilical artery will carry all the deoxygenated blood from the fetal part and enter into the placenta and reaches the mother maternal side. So these are the main five components comes under fetal circulation. First one is umbilical vein, second one is ductus venosus, third one is foramina ovale, fourth one is ductus arteriosus and fifth one is umbilical arteries. Next we will see what happen in fetal circulation, what is the cause of fetal circulation. Fetal circulation about 80% of oxygenated blood will be carried by the umbilical vein from the placenta to the fetus and it will reach the umbilicus of the fetus through the abdominal wall reaches the portal, hepatic portal side. So there you can see a large shunt is formed that is known as the ductus arteriosus. Here the umbilical vein bifurcated and it will go to the portal side and it will meet the inferior vena cava and between that side the ductus arteriosus will be there. So half of the blood will go to the portal to the portal vein and half of the blood majority go to the inferior vena cava and this inferior vena cava reaches the right atrium. So heart you know chambers. So two atrium right and left, two ventricle right and left is there. So inferior vena cava reaches the right atrium of the heart. So when it reaches the right atrium of the heart, there is a shunt that is present between the right atrium and the left atrium that is known as the foramina ovale. So here more of the oxygenated blood from the right atrium reaches the left atrium. So down to the right atrium, you know, with the tricuspid wall, it reaches the uh, right ventricle. In the right ventricle, pulmonary artery is there. So the, in the uh, pulmonary artery, small amount of blood will be carried and reaches the lungs. So lungs is immature, not working in the fetal period. Okay, not much action is there. So whatever remaining part that will reaches from the lungs and carried by the pulmonary veins and it will reaches the left atrium. Next, what happened in the left atrium? So left atrium already we, we know there is a oxygenated blood that is come from the right atrium through the foramina ovala. Uh, left atrium rich in oxygenated blood. This oxygenated blood, uh, it will uh, carry through the mitral valve that is bicuspid valve and reaches the left ventricle. In the left ventricle what is present? You know, iota is present. So iota will carry all the oxygenated blood and uh, uh, it will, uh, ascending iota will supply all the oxygenated blood to the upper extremities of the fetus that is the head, neck and the upper arms. Then, uh, then what happen if you see the iota there is a division is there. Here the descending iota they will having a uh, shunt that is formed between the descending iota and the pulmonary artery that is known as the ductus arteriosus. In the ductus arteriosus also mixing of blood is there from the descending iota most of the blood will reaches the lower extremities and the lower extremities will be supplied. All the deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities that will be carried and it will be reaches into the in, uh, abdominal iota. From the abdominal iota it will branches into internal iliac arteries. The internal iliac artery will be 
uh, supplied to the umbilical arteries. So umbilical artery will carry all the deoxygenated blood and this blood will be carried to the placenta. Clear? So this is the course of circulation that takes place in the fetus. So next we will see what are the changes that takes place after birth. Immediately after birth, if you see, due to the stoppage of blood from the placenta and second one is initiation of respiration of the fetus. So there is some changes takes place. First one is uh, the changes that takes place in the umbilical vein. Umbilical vein will be changes to ligamentum teres. The next one is ductus venosus. Ductus venosus changes to ligamentum venosus. Then third one is fossa that is the um, foramen ovale. So foramen ovale functional closures because of the caseous that is the oxygenated blood will be more in the left atrium to the right atrium because of the pressure gradient. So here closure of the uh, foramen of ovale takes place that will leads to fossa ovalis and the anatomical closure will takes place within one year. The next one is ductus arteriosus. Ductus arteriosus that will changes to ligamentum arteriosa because of the muscular contraction and the prostaglandin effect and uh, uh, functional closure immediately after birth takes place and anatomical closure will takes place within one to three months. So this ductus arteriosus will changes to ligamentum arteriosa. The next one is umbilical arteries. So this umbilical artery will change us to obliterated umbilical arteries that is uh, like a ligament and umbilical vesicle. So these are the major changes that takes place after the birth. So after birth if you see the cardiac output of the uh, baby that is a newborn is 500 ml per minute and the heartbeat will be 120 to 140 beats per minute. So today we have discussed about fetal circulation, what is the meaning of fetal circulation, what are the components that present in the fetal circulation and what are the uh, course or physiology of fetal circulation and what are the changes that takes place uh, immediately after the birth. Hope, hope you have understood the class. Thank you.